reveal the raw reads, then don't give them. Uh, but if it is otherwise, then you can give them. Uh, now, actual our concern is that we have already published three papers out of right. it, and right. what they they want to do already we did that thing. So maybe uh, they may go in depth much more. But yeah. One is yeah. one one issue is that that is the sample means uh, first time uh, throughout the world we reported first time bacillus anthracis, but right. non pathogenic, non pathogenic. Okay. Okay. And uh, from a Asia, uh, uh, we may be the uh, third who, who reported bacillus anthracis as a whole. Exactly. Means some, exactly. some report from China, some report from Japan, like that. So uh, nobody reported from India. Uh, this is very uh, authentic sample. Right. Uh, right. But but I asked Aparna, please you search regarding that guys. So I I, I yeah. have very limited time. You saw something right. about that fellow. So right. he right. found this fellow is from defense, and uh, his email ID is a government email ID. Okay. Oh, okay. So so, uh, so that and that's why we are little bit shaky. Otherwise, scientist as a scientist, he is asking any raw data. Uh, we don't have any problem. Okay. Right. But right. Uh, pro problem with the sample, though our sample we have. Submitted in the uh, NCCS Pune and uh, Imtech Chandigarh. We got right. accession right. also. Uh, right now in my laboratory, the sample is not with me because Aparna has left. Nobody is taking care of those right. samples. Right. And due right. to this lockdown, we have almost uh, lost uh, many of the important samples. So anyhow, uh, yes, issue. Is Issue is that that is related with bacillus anthracis because nowadays the uh, biological warfare are there. Uh, you you, you right, see sir. the China they are doing these kind of things. So I don't know what they are doing. Uh, all they are doing. So that is the issue. That's why I thought I should discuss with some person who are handling the international body or they understand all these things. But uh, I think if we reveal the raw data, there is no harm. Uh, we should right, not right. Uh, send the sample to outside. Right, sir. Right. But, no, I agree, uh, sir. I agree. Yeah, actually. Uh, 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 right, it's okay, sir. You, you can just wait and see. And uh, usually uh, people are nice because even, for, even with us also, even when I came here after uh, analyzing some fungal genome sequences, you know, people have asked raw rates. Um, I mean, for example, even with the COVID as well, you know, with COVID as well, there are uh, no raw rates actually. But you know, some people, if they request, you know, they should they should give the raw rates because it's always good. Because if they can identify some new leads, uh, that's always a good for uh, development of uh, uh, community actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I am sending you uh, the mail of Michael Chester. Uh, yeah, sure. What, what he wrote. Sure, sir. And and uh, after getting his mail, I send him uh, other two papers also, just to sure, see uh, his interest. Uh, sure, sir. And, and till now, he has not written anything. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Definitely, sir. Definitely. Uh, I have seen you the slides also. Please. Yeah, yeah. I, I received it, sir. I'm just uploading it. It's a very good uh, detailed one, sir. This was what I wanted, sir. Thank you so much. This is a wonderful uh, machine, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so people started joining, sir. One minute. Huh? Yeah. Oh, please, sir, please. Sir, uh, I am is also here. I am is my PhD fellow. He's a wonderful bioinformatician.
Yeah, thank you, Pavan, sir, for joining. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll just get started in about four minutes, please. Yeah, thank you. Rajiv has not joined using his name. Yeah. No, Rajiv sir is there in uh, Priyanka's uh, uh, ID, ID, sir. Uh, yeah. He always use uh, even WhatsApp. Dada <laughs> Namaskar. Yeah, Namaste. <laughs> So Rajiv, you uh, when the program will start, you also show your video so that we will see you. Uh, last yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am also trying through my uh, laptop. Also, let's see. So we're getting started in about one minute. Yeah. Uh, I am, thank you so much in, uh, in advance now in recording. Thank you so much. Yeah. So welcome to uh, Incivilization. Uh, it's a great honor to have uh, uh, Raji Bandopajay sir, uh, who was my uh, uh, senior and uh, mentor right from my uh, uh, Professor P. K. Gupta uh, lab days, uh, along with Pavan sir, Neeraj sir, and others. Uh, Raji Bandopajay uh, is uh, a PhD from Ramesh Chandra's lab, where uh, they have deciphered uh, agronomically important traits is uh, uh, a PhD from the year 1999, and then he went on to gain a lot of postdoctoral years of experience. Uh, in a major st a stint of about uh, two, two and a half years working with uh, Professor P.K. Gupta's lab, uh, he had been to uh, uh, an Antarctica mission uh, from Government of India's initiative on explorative research uh, uh, in southern uh, uh, part of uh, 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 in, in, in southern uh, uh, southern part of you know uh, the hemisphere research, 
that was initiated by DST, uh, which we will hear from uh, Sir in his own words. And then the most exciting uh, thing also came from Sir, where he joined uh, University of Budwan uh, before he joined as uh, as an associate professor at uh, Birla Institute of Technology in Astra. Now he is a full professor in Department of uh, uh, Microbiology and Botany at uh, University of Budwan in West Bengal. He is also an author of um, uh, a very important Springer book, uh, co-authored uh, by Professor P. V. Kavikishore, sir, uh, he himself and myself, uh, where uh, I learned a lot of things from sir as well during those days. That has been um, a wonderful uh, uh, book. That's, uh, in fact, you know, widely read books in terms of agricultural bioinformatics per se. We'll also get to hear uh, more from sir. So, uh, Rajib, sir, thank you so much for joining today. It's been a great honor. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you for your uh, kind introduction. Prashant and my uh, colleague Pawan is also here, Dr. Pawan Kulwal. So uh, just uh, two points. Uh, I did my PhD from Calcutta University with Professor Rajat Chaudhary uh, in uh, Ricinus Communis uh, Genome. And uh, then I uh, shifted to Professor P.K. Gupta's lab. And then I went to uh, South Korea and worked with Professor Song Jung Yoon. After that, I joined BIT Mesra Ranchi. And after working there for nine years, and meantime, I went to USA as a Boy Scouts fellow. And I worked with uh, Professor Andrew Patterson. And after uh, coming to India, I participated in Southern Ocean uh, Expedition in 2011 as a, a biological uh, scientist. And uh, we visited uh, Antarctica region for our research work. And then I uh, shifted to uh, University of Bardwan, where we are uh, trying to develop some bioinformatics uh, for the benefit of our uh, students. So thank you, Prashant, for your uh, nice introduction. And I narrated in brief uh, my journey uh, as a, a simple uh, conventional subjects say, from botany, genetics uh, to uh, bioinformatics or the uh, modern uh, subject uh, where you can learn and you can do uh, many things. So you can see the changes or the transformations uh, of the subject and their applications and overall uh, the interactions uh, between the uh, subjects or interdisciplinary uh, research uh, with different departments. So we got some training uh, with Professor P.K. Gupta say in uh, plant genetics. We learned some molecular biology techniques in the laboratory. We did some work at the field uh, for breeding purpose, uh, where uh, we also learned how to use uh, the informations or the uh, kind of say bioinformatics work using the uh, computer, computers and internet. Those times internets were very uh, costly and we don't have any facilities as, at the uh, laboratory. Okay, so uh, let me narrate the first part uh, of my uh, experience. Uh, say when I was a student in MSc uh, Botany, specialization in microbiology, uh, we had to do some uh, project work. Like these days, the student, uh, they mostly do the things. But nowadays, the student, they are not so crazy. Not all students, but some of the students, they are not uh, crazy uh, for the project work or the laboratory work. They, they want some work related with computers and totally uh, computer-based work. They don't uh, like uh, wet lab experiment uh, at all, most of the times. And mostly uh, they are inclined for the uh, study with their syllabus. And side by side, they used to target the uh, national eligibility test net, net uh, from the third and the fourth semesters. 
but honestly speaking during our time uh, wet lab was uh, much more uh, uh, means uh, way uh, for the conduction of the dissertation or the project to work and we don't have any exposure or any computers or any laptops or any uh, sophisticated mobiles those time so i did my phd actually in 2004 uh, just uh, prashant uh, narrated 1998 or 9 it's not like that it is in 2004 we completed our msc in 1998 so say when we are student of msc uh, that time, uh, say, uh, for our project work, we have to visit different uh, libraries. We have to consult different libraries. Say, for example, in Calcutta, we used to visit uh, IICV. We used to visit uh, Cultivation of Science. We used to visit uh, Pharmacy Department uh, at Chadapur University for our literature. But those days, uh, one of my uh, mentors uh, or my guide, project guide, uh, Dr. Obhijit Bandhapadhyay, he guided me, uh, please you may visit once to Bose Institute. Uh, it is located in Calcutta. Uh, from where you can uh, gather some information. So in our days uh, at Bose Institute, Actually, they have some uh, bioinformatics center that is called DIC, Distributed Information uh, Center. Normally, uh, it is uh, only one center in Calcutta, and that serves uh, towards uh, total Northeast India. Okay. So, uh, what they did, they used to do uh, search uh, from some uh, city. And uh, once in a year, uh, they purchase some CD. Uh, one is that is related with agricola, that means related with agriculture, plants, or plants related any kind of research. And other CD used to belong to Medline. Medline belongs to, say, medical science related research, geological research, or any kind of uh, cancerous research, or any kind of uh, um, say animal research uh, that that kind of things. So we used to visit uh, Bose Institute, and uh, uh, obviously it is chargeable, and we have to say the keywords, what kind of things we are looking for. Say I am working on say uh, dengue. So for dengue, I have to give uh, keyword for dengue. Uh, say uh, Aedes aegypti or say fever like that. These are the main keywords. So after putting these keywords, uh, some persons are there, dedicated persons. They used to search. So in the computer, different kind of abstracts, only headings, only the title of the paper. So if I choose Uh, 200 or 500 research on it throughout the world. Suppose I choose 25 or 40, uh, the important things, what what I, I thought this may be important for my work. So those 30 or 40, they can give the printout as an abstract. Then again, from the abstract, if we want, then we can search, we can write to the author, for the detailing of the paper, and they used to send the paper through uh, posts. Like this way, uh, we, we searched uh, references in those times. Then when I was in uh, Calcutta as a PhD student, suppose one computer that was uh, at the chamber of the HOD head of the department, and uh, it has some internet connections. So throughout the week, I used to eagerly wait how to access those computers. And my professor, Professor uh, Rajat uh, Kanti Choudhury, R.K. Choudhury, uh, he's a little bit expert on computers and all these kind of uh, uh, searching. And I used to learn from myself in those days. And after completion of his work, say, I used to get 30 minutes or say sometimes 40 minutes. Uh, for uh, accessing those uh, computers. And from there, I, I tried to learn the ABC of uh, bioinformatics on my own. 
suppose say ncbi is there so i used to search ncbi what are the buttons are there uh, how it is related uh, how we can uh, do the things so like this way in my thesis a little bit of say uh, uh, gene sequence matbox gene sequence we, we did the sequence alignment we we tried to find out the uh, location of the genes and uh, some kind of small small things or primer designing uh, for my pcr like this way we learned Ne never we learned from our syllabus or uh, we never did on hands on training uh, during our uh, student lives but uh, on my own interest and for the sake of the research uh, gradually i tried to learn all these things uh, uh, bit by bit so Cal in calcutta we learned like this way then we went to professor pk gupta's lab and during uh, those days when we used to work with professor gupta he used to suggest us to do your research and there must be uh, some um, uh, kind of uh, say uh, uh, composition of uh, wet lab and uh, us uh, uh, and uh, there must be some uh, bioinformatics work also uh, used to say uh, do research like this way say 60 40 ratio or 70 30 ratio or 80 20 ratio whatever the things if you can put uh, some analysis or some kind of work uh, you can put uh, in uh, bioinformatics so like this way we learned something then I went to uh, South Korea. There also we analyze different data, uh, say microarray data or uh, some high throughput data. Uh, we need uh, bioinformatics or different tools or different uh, softwares. Uh, when we worked with Professor Andrew Patterson also, he was a big guy and a lot of uh, whole genome sequences was done uh, by his uh, group. Uh, say uh, sorghum whole genome. I used to work with sorghum whole genome, and uh, they are also a very big server and different facilities uh, for this kind of uh, research. Uh, so we we uh, did uh, that that thing uh, for uh, our work. And when I return back to India, and Prashant is there at BISR. And at BISR, uh, Professor uh, Ghosh is there, Pernandu Ghosh, and he is he worked as an advisor with our BIT Mesra Ranchi also. So that time, DBT uh, Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, uh, they introduced many uh, bioinformatics center in different states also. So at BISR, they have very good facilities with uh, computer laboratories and different uh, scientists like Prashant and uh, like Dr. Sholanki and many more. So uh, they established a very good laboratory over there. And as a sister concern or mother concern at BIT Mesra also, we had uh, uh, bioinformatics centers. A lot of people, including me, we used to do research over there and we have curriculum with the young students. So we used to offer MSc in bioinformatics and really all the students, they are well trained because we have multidisciplinary uh, faculties over there uh, because uh, they learn uh, computer from uh, computer department faculties. They learn mathematics from the ma mathematics department faculty and we people used to teach them biology and some of our colleague like Dr. Raju Poddar and Dr. Sankar Narayanan and myself we are there we used to uh, bridge them with this kind of uh, say knowledge with uh, biology. So when I was in uh, BIT then uh, myself and my student uh, Radeshyam Thakur uh, we developed uh, cloud computing. And in India, uh, first time we analyzed uh, biological samples, biological uh, sequences or whole genome sequence analysis uh, through Yeah, Rajiv sir. Hello. Yeah, hello Rajiv sir. 
Hello, Prashant. Yeah, yeah, please, sir. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So uh, then uh, we, we worked on uh, cloud computing at BIT. Uh, myself and one of my students, Mr. Radesh Cham Thakur. So first time in India, uh, we analyzed the biological samples or uh, biological data uh, through cloud computing. That time, uh, it was uh, a very uh, crazy subject. And we published in uh, Frontiers uh, Genetics uh, Journal, and it was uh, highly cited also. So some of my colleagues, uh, they asked me, we, we are faculty from computer science, and this, this subject is of uh, computer science. Cloud computing is uh, purely of computer science. So how, how you people did this work? Then I also uh, smiled, and I, I told that guy, if you are not working, if you are idle, then it's not uh, my fault. Yeah, I am working in this field. So better uh, you come forward and we can also come forward and we can work uh, together and we can uh, work much more in this field. So anyhow, like this way, uh, and the, for the new student, the uh, young student, I am suggesting that you have to uh, see, you have to watch critically what kind of Gradually, you will be master of those fields because uh, you have to learn on your own or you have to uh, collaborate with the experts in this field and somehow you will get help from them. So nobody learned uh, from the beginning. Okay. So every day the subject uh, it is changing. Uh, say uh, all of you, those who are present here uh, in this uh, web near or uh, cipher session. So you never learned uh, bioinformatics uh, from your schools or your colleges or at the university level like. You see, they have introduced uh, bioinformatics from the beginning or from the uh, BSc level. So normally, in our subject, say botany, uh, I found uh, they have uh, uh, very good syllabus at the UG level. So when a person uh, coming uh, from UG level project or dissertation work. Say, for example, uh, for this kind of uncertain lockdown, uh, when people are thinking how you will perform the classes online, how we will do the practicals online, but it was very easy for Uh, means uh, vice versa, means uh, the two sides of a co uh, coin, means uh, theory are also uh, same as the practical or practical is also same as the theory. So all the things we can perform uh, online very easily and student also can learn uh, in, in online classes uh, all the practicals if they uh, try with all the relevant links and if they follow the uh, protocols uh, step by steps but for the wet lab practical really it is problematic uh, to learn uh, online and a uh, lot of our uh, students suppose they are getting job in colleges they are college teacher so in colleges, uh, people have uh, difficulties for laboratory or they may not get any research scholar or any funded project. They have some limitations. But if a person is uh, well versed with bioinformatics, then he or she can do the job very easily uh, from the uh, college also. So they can uh, perform bioinformatics and they can uh, do uh, many things. So like this way, I think, and uh, obviously I learned uh, many things from Prashant. So Prashant being a, a junior, but uh, he traveled a lot uh, with many countries and uh, he has developed the uh, bio clues. So from the beginning, I am with him 
um, with bioclus also so i can remember so when i was at bit i just joined after coming from uh, south korea and uh, we we uh, performed uh, online uh, project or uh, say uh, in silico work uh, with my uh, b student uh, that hypothetical proteins so we started uh, first so prashant can also remember and uh, two of my students they worked very well uh, with this uh, yeah with this project and they uh, they presented this work uh, at singapore uh, in some international seminar so those days uh, was there and lot of student uh, they learned and gradually prashant uh, he uh, developed or enriched bioclus and now bioclus has um, wide uh, spread it throughout the world and lot of scientists senior scientists retired person and even the young uh, students even uh, from this year prashant is uh, targeting the uh, school children also so you can uh, think uh, for this uh, uh, sake of uh, good work or for bioinformatics work so prashant has devoted lot of times uh, except his uh, professional duties and other uh, assignment at his uh, house also uh, all the time he is online and he is very helpful whatever you write him immediately you will get the reply and immediately you will get uh, the help so this this is the person uh, who is really very suitable for this kind of subject so i think prashant will also tell something and we'll discuss later on so oh, thank you uh, so prashant. much sir uh, thank you so much sir that's very uh, generous of you i mean that shows uh, the wonderful uh, down to earth uh, uh, person you are uh, we have always taken um, uh, you as an inspiring personality sir thank you so much without you uh, and without your wonderful uh, uh, tutelage and mentoring uh, would not have uh, reached this particular stage uh, but sir uh, the most important thing and beauty about uh, your research journey is you always been very much uh, helpful in terms of extrapolating uh, uh, science uh, right from um, uh, guruji's uh, 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 guruji's uh, lab in fact i still remember i joined 2003 january and uh, i always looked upon you pawan kulwal sir and neeraj sir as my wonderful mentors three of you uh, with distinct passion always encouraging uh, um, a lot of lessons and you know, learned from you all uh, uh, sir uh, the very first thing i really wanted to ask you before we move on to these particular slides uh, how did you get into this uh, antarctica mission sir so uh, in the true in the true sense uh, when i was a, a phd student at calcutta university so i used to work on a castor plant that is ricinus communis and for my field work i have to visit uh, hyderabad uh, dor directorate of oil seed research rajendranagar so after three months interval so when i used to visit hyderabad we used to work at the day time at dor because you know in agricultural uh, institute or agricultural farm they used to uh, start work early in the morning because the breeder uh, they start working early in the morning say 8 uh, o'clock and normally uh, all the departments and institute they remain closed say around 4 uh, o'clock so after 4 uh, we had nothing to do at dor because it is situated at the uh, outskirts of the city it is near hyderabad zoo and prashant belongs to hyderabad he knows better so uh, then uh, myself and my friend rajesh si uh, we used to visit ccmb because ccmb is uh, open for 24 into 7 into 365 days and you know the magic of ccmb so uh, the whole building they never locked none, none of the door is locked at all at any time so everything is open and everything you can visit and you can uh, roam around so at that time uh, dr alji singh was direct 
Dr. and somehow we we are very close with Dr. Lalji Singh, and he he helped us a lot, and we used to visit different laboratories. So when we used to visit different laboratories, I found uh, Dr. Uh, Sibaji is there, and he used to work on the microbes, and that all are from uh, Antarctica. He visited Antarctica two times. So during say uh, 1998 uh, or 99 or say 2000, I, it was in my mind. I used to see only. I, I used to see uh, what Sivaji is doing, and Another scientist was uh, Dr. Malai K. Roy. Uh, he is a geologist and used to work on the cyclophilic protein over there at CCMA. So that was uh, at the uh, in, in my mind uh, regarding the work. Then I, I went here and there. I did uh, many, many things. And uh, I, I was absorbed at BIT Mesra Ranchi. So being a full faculty, uh, I went for a refresher course at Calcutta University. So there, uh, one person uh, that is Professor Bhattacharya, some Bhattacharya, Bhimalendu Bhattacharya. So he took one class for us. And in that class, I learned a lot from Professor Bhimalendu uh, Bhattacharya. And I came to know he was the group leader in 1984 expedition for Antarctica. And Sivaji uh, Rao was one of the members in that expedition group. So after seeing his lecture, I was overwhelmed. And what was at the back of my mind during my visit of PhD days, it came uh, forward. And then I thought I should do something. So then I started to study over the research in Antarctica uh, uh, with the help of different Indian scientists and scientists from abroad. So I, I learned the ABC about the expedition or about the research. Then I found the advertisement in Current Science. Uh, the young scientists, those who are interested for some research at uh, Southern Ocean Expedition uh, at the Antarctica region, uh, they can submit the proposal or the projects. Then myself as a PI and my colleague, uh, Officer Pratish Sukla, right now he is in MD Urotak. He's a microbiologist. So um, we, we, we proposed some project and Really, it was very uh, tough to get the project, and I defended the project at NCUR Goa. And finally, uh, it uh, goes well, and I got the project. And with the help of that project, myself and uh, Professor Sukla, we visited uh, those areas and we participated in that expedition in 2011. And uh, for your kind information, just for this year, one of my friends from Calcutta, from Environment Science, Dr. Punanava Bashu, uh, he participated in uh, Antarctica uh, expedition this year. And most of the lockdown times, he was there. And right now, he is back. So this way, uh, I was involved in this project. Oh, wonderful, sir. I mean, uh... Uh, that's that's quite an amazing journey. I mean, as as we really look into these uh, slides, I really feel very excited. So I'm um, I'm making it a full screen, sir. Would we would you mind you know quickly going through these uh, particular slides, please? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So so this was about sir's uh, Southern Ocean expedition in Antarctica region, and um, so sir is very uh, uh, you know generous in a, enough you know to share this. Uh, which is an initiative for, from Minister of Earth Sciences. So please, uh, please, sir. So please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, related with our uh, expedition. It was funded by Ministry of uh, Earth Science, and all logistical support was made uh, through uh, NCO or Goa. So next, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. Next slide, is Prashant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. you can see this uh, thing. Uh, this is NCOR Goa. Next, please. Yes, sir. So this is some of the uh, team members. So uh, uh, at that time, director was uh, Rosik Ravindra, and our team leader was uh, Dr. Anil Kumar. 
and you can see lot of uh, young ladies they were there because all they are expert in uh, marine science and they are really very expert for this kind of expeditions and people are, are from iisc bangalore uh, jnu delhi university goa university then from kochi and many more places yes Next sir please yes. Yes, yes, these are the participating participating institute uh, i participated from bit mesra ranchi and this was a indo brazilian expedition so from brazil uh, some group were there in this competition uh, in these expeditions next place so this was the uh, ship uh, this is uh, orbi sagar nidhi uh, this was purchased from italy it is of 232 crores it is it is a scientific vessel so there are a lot of uh, storms and high waves so uh, for the research purpose we have to uh, stay stand still so they have very big big uh, exhauster and they can makes the artificial waves and we can uh, stand still and we can perform the job so it was uh, harvard at mauritius this picture is from mauritius Oh, wonderful! Yeah, yeah. So you can see uh, this is near to Mauritius. Actually, the journey was started from Chennai. From Chennai, say via uh, Sri Lanka or Indian map, you can imagine the Indian map. Then it is up to Mauritius. So it took 23 days. First January 2011, it started. So we are on the uh, roof of the ship. So there is. Uh, Uh, different engineers and our group leaders and captain captain's family they are from chennai and uh, who certified doctors and all these blue dresses person are uh, crew members so 18 scientists were there and rest of the person were uh, engineers and crew members so capacity was 55 persons and our ice captain was from russia you can see his picture next please Yes, sir. Yeah. So as as those area is a, a ice uh, ice area, so in, in ice area, no Indian or other captain are uh, allowed. Only the uh, ice captain. So normally ice captains are from Russia or some uh, some are from Argentina or, or uh, those places. But India they have good tie up with Russia. So normally uh, they used to hire uh, ice captain from Russia. so this is our uh, ice captain so myself and ice captain so this is a very small small figure so at the uh, left top this was our cabin and cabin was double decker so dr sukla used to sleep at the uh, ground level i used to sleep at the top and right side is was our uh, entertainment uh, room where you can play carrom or cards or many things or for meeting purpose we used to use these uh, rooms and uh, left side is the uh, uh, upper upper surface of the ship and right side is the dining area so for scientists different dining area for uh, office uh, higher officials and and for crew member another dining area uh, food so are same but area was different so this kind in our expedition so in the beginning they, they did, didn't say anything but when we entered uh, 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 deep of the ocean then they went for this kind of training suppose if uh, ships uh, dips then how you will wear the uh, jackets and how you can float how you can attract uh, other people and uh, middle middle one is for the fire extinguisher uh, dresses uh, things they are demonstrating and during the uh, problem of that sea so that uh, anyone can use those things suppose if we are in danger or we are going uh, inside the water so we can push some button that button will alert the marine uh, commandos of mumbai 
and they will inform to the president of india and then president of india uh, if, if he uh, thinks uh, they can say in helicopters for uh, lifting uh, for the uh, rescue so like this way all this sort of training and uh, information so we, we together we gathered next please next please yes sir yes sir so these are different operations uh, in in uh, different operations in the sea uh, so uh, left panel upper side is the ctd you can uh, measure the uh, temperature uh, density uh, all these things and extended uh, ctd and then there are different kind of uh, net plankton net Uh, bongo net and uh, uh, many uh, uh, upgraded uh, nets through which you can capture the uh, sea uh, insects or animals or any living creatures so these are, are some kind of operations so you can core Uh, the uh, uh, sea sea area where depth is very low, say 200 meter, and we floated the Argo floater. So Argo floater can give you the uh, uh, weather report or different parameters you can download every day, and you can analyze the things. So one important thing I can tell you that is related with the uh, tsunami. so tsunami and other things so india can predict very well so nowadays you can see big big things india can predict very early and they can uh, degree roam and uh, many things for preservation of the samples so these are the uh, natural uh, birds these birds are very big in size this is called the albatross so it it is a big uh, big wing and they can uh, see in uh, uh, deep ocean or near antarctic region only so next please so these are different instrument uh, we used so one one is uh, packet thermometer other is say auto uh, cell or uh, different uh, analytical analysis so we can use all these kind of instruments next please Sir, are these instruments uh, put up in the ships, sir? Yeah, yeah, on board laboratories. And one one important thing is that Prashant. So uh, some kind of expert uh, are there. Uh, they can uh, handle all these things on the ship because ship uh, uh, it is not very smooth. The uh, ocean is very very rough and tough. so all the instrument it needs special care and everything that is easy at our uh, laboratory in the land but the same thing is very difficult on the uh, sea so that right. some kind of experts are there and they are called the norinco means that is a norway norwegian company they used to train those people and those people used to serve in the um, uh, sea for this kind of things they are engineer but they have special training so norinco okay. people used to help in uh, operations okay. so these are different uh, living creatures and uh, they have different uh, means uh, fluorescent uh, dyes or colors so they can blink uh, at night and you can see see them like uh, uh, different uh, insect or different small fishes and many more things so these are some kind of operations so operation is used to done uh, through the uh, in, through uh, inside and uh, this this area is called the winch so it's just like the window you can open the window and you can deploy some heavy instruments and left side panel lower side you can see the magma the real metal of the uh, art so during coring at the uh, non deep regions you can get this kind of uh, means uh, met metals and these metals are novel and something they are uh, not reported and this can be used for many purpose for chemistry people they have interest and in biological sample people used to use this thing for anti cancerous activity or other things
So these uh, some small panels you can see the upper left panel uh, we, we, we faced uh, with many holes. So uh, different kind of holes are there. So one is the uh, killer holes. Uh, they they used to come uh, near to uh, means uh, human or near to us or near to our ship. Uh, they don't fear uh, any anything. But the uh, big whale uh, they can uh, sense any uh, ship or other things. So they used to stay away uh, with, with the human kinds or say with the ships and other things. So like this way, we saw uh, different uh, killer whales uh, with very close view and we saw uh, big whales and they are siphons, uh, say, at a distance of 100 meter or 200 meter like that. So these are the uh, different uh, experiment we performed. So upper left side is the tsunami bowie for the tsunami. So electronic people, they used to uh, deploy this uh, instrument uh, in the seas and they can uh, collect the data and this is uh, artificial sea and people are conducting different experiment with the seas and these are uh, big cargoes these cargoes used to carry all the instruments uh, dresses or any other material or chemicals uh, for the use uh, on the ship so next place so sky are also very beautiful. Some of the slides are here. Only one slide is from Mauritius. You can see the ships or small boats, but other, other sky colors are uh, on our way uh, towards uh, Antarctica. So there are uh, sun or there are moon, but they are little bit different or they are little bit flattened. Uh, it's not like mm, these what we see uh, from Calcutta or say Jaipur or Delhi or Maharashtra or uh, Bangalore. So th this kind of beautiful things we can see. Next please. So these are different kind of icebergs. So say from um, Antarctica mainland. So a lot of ice chunks. So it is very big in size. So you can see in the picture. Uh, so those who are from Calcutta or say Maharashtra, you know about the uh, Puja Pandal of Durga, Durga Puja or say Ganesh Puja. Hmm? So you can you can imagine the Pandal, Puja Pandal. So it's just like a very big, big uh, Puja Pandal. So officially, uh, the scientist uh, means uh, recruited me as a official photographer. So it was uh, my duty or my job it may be daytime or it may be night time or any time I may get the phone call and I have to rush to the uh, deck of the ship and I have to take the pictures so all these are uh, pictures you can see the biggest one what I saw at the daytime so uh, this kind of icebox we found so this is also kind of research or observations. So where you are finding the first iceberg. So th this is different operations. Myself and uh, Professor Sukla, we are examining different biological samples on board uh, through micro microscope. This was also invented by one of my senior friend, uh, Dr. Ravindra Lal Mukherjee. So well, that's all. Yeah, it's what, yeah, a, what a great journey, sir, with, uh, with this Antarctica mission. I mean, um, yeah. the ice, sir, actually, uh, actually uh, it is always said that uh, 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 it is seen in the eye of a beholder. The, the beauty is seen in the eye of a beholder. What, what an amazing journey, sir, with this, that too, at a pretty uh, young age. And you also have been uh, uh, one of the youngest professors, sir, if you really look back. That has really come up with a lot of hard work, I can, I can definitely uh, imagine. Uh, can you tell me one striking difference between uh, uh, the biotechnologists or biologists of uh, uh, your era and uh, the current generation, sir? What is the best advice that you want to give uh, for them? Actually, uh, the uh, new subject that is coming, say biotechnology or say microbiology or say uh, uh, 
what you are saying bioinformatics or nowadays uh, the latest one say uh, data science and many more things are coming but whatever is coming you can you can take uh, any uh, current or recent subject uh, no problem but the basic things the uh, basic uh, biology are same so you have to learn the basic things uh, at first number 1 and number 2 uh, you have to stick with your goal because a uh, lot of uh, difficulties are there a lot of hurdles are there so you have to uh, cope out with those things so what i can find uh, in my uh, society or when i talk with my uh, students uh, i i i find nowadays students are very uh, much uh, habituated with the notes so in higher class people used to take notes but nowadays if you see at the school level eh, they are uh, going for the tuition and they are getting the ready made notes and they their education or their learning is based on mostly notes and it, uh, it it is like that because they want to score the full marks so 100 out of 100 but the subject knowledge but the subject basic Uh, idea uh, they don't have so that is the lacuna uh, with uh, many students not all uh, many students and whatever the subject they are choosing uh, they they are not uh, go through or well through or they are not uh, doing well uh, with the subject so people are thinking the subject is not good so if you take this subject you will not get any job or you cannot do anything but many students i find nowadays also they have very good passion say some student they are studying uh, b in biotechnology but at at this level at b level so uh, uh, my student uh, dr aparna is here or prashant uh, you may also know uh, that is pritham pritham goshami so he can think uh, beyond the level even i i can think at that level so suppose say for example pcr we know all pcr we have we have read all pcrs their principal mechanism this that everything but he has uh, developed one theory and he, he is trying to get the patent of that uh, thought yeah, how pcr can work uh, much more effectively or in a, a parallel way means uh, in a, in a other a, a other thing he is thinking so out of the box only he, he or who can think who have the very uh, good grip with the subject with the basic things so like this way a uh, lot of our uh, students at the school level they are writing uh, good uh, language or softwares and google they are uh, purchasing those things so th this is the thing so you will get uh, two types of students so one student they they get they only uh, see the ready made things but other student those who have the energy to gather the uh, real knowledge and they want to apply that knowledge in the real life also true sir that, and this is uh, this is truly uh, uh, said uh, uh, having said this sir uh, i mean there are people like uh, preetham and all these um, uh, young mentees whom you have nurtured this is also because of the wonderful environment you know they might have gazelle sir i mean if you really uh, look uh, uh, look at me probably uh, 17 years ago in 2003 when i joined professor uh, pk gupta's lab guruji's lab you were all there you pavan sir neeraj sir you were all you know pushing me even i remember you know my last day in um, pk gupta's lab uh, or even before i went on to uh, join a phd in denmark you only uh, uh, told us one important thing a fresh always think twice and you should always know you know why you are doing this particular work and whether or not you know it would really uh, gain impetus or gain you know uh, some kind of you know a good thing you know for your future generation or for your future next that was what you always told so this this uh, kind of uh, thing always uh, helps us and i also agree that the current generation uh, they don't have that mastery in noting down certain important things uh this is a this is a really a very uh, sorry thing um another thing which i wanted to ask you sir you have a wonderful uh, distinction a dual distinction of uh, being both uh, 
uh, a plant uh, by a technologist and as well as uh, uh, as well as a microbiologist i mean you also have done exciting science uh, in microbiology as well uh, how did this interest develop sir uh, because you find uh, you don't find such uh, dual interest uh, scientists these days working in both uh, uh, fields you know, with the same passion with the same inherent passion uh, actually uh, honestly actually honestly speaking uh, myself i do own thing myself as a scientist actually i am a, a worker and i i like work and uh, as uh, now i am professor so i used to push my student to work also so things is like this uh, so i had training in uh, plant say in botany say plant and specialization was microbiology but i was very fond working with plants and throughout my career i used to work with plants only even in uh, from beginning say uh, during my master say 1997 98 say up to 2008 or 9 i used to work in the domain of plants itself but uh, when i returned back from usa so some of our colleague at bit uh, they forced me to work in other field say in algae so when they told me to work in algae then i told some of my colleague are there they are expert in algae they are from uh, delhi university so they can work then the authority told no no we don't uh, believe or rely on on that particular faculty so he is seeing he is look after in one side it is okay, okay but uh, you do something that means uh, the authority has some uh, faith or some uh, belief on me they, i can do something then i thought if i work on algae i don't know marine algae or some uh, macro algae so better i can work on micro algae because i had the basic training on microbiology so i know about the media i know how to isolate i know how to examine and all other things then i started uh, working on micro algae fresh water micro algae so meantime i got the uh, project of the southern ocean antarctica expedition and you know most of our samples or our interest was on uh, different strata of water we collected different water from different places so we can isolate uh, different uh, marine micro algae or uh, bacteria or many 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 things so then i started working on uh, marine micro algae and uh, mostly on bacteria but when i changed my job to badwan university so daden hod uh, dr abhijit bandopadhyay he told me ye yeah, dr bandopadhyay you can uh, work in any field no problem whether it is plant or uh, microbiology or anything you can work you can do research you can guide student but you have to teach microbiology then again it was challenge for me the yeah, i was i will teach microbiology i will work on say arabidopsis or rice it is not the good thing because in uh, higher studies normally at the pg level or the phd level if you have some expertise on those particular subject and your lab data real data will help the student to uh, learn the um, uh, say uh, theoretical knowledge uh, at higher so i thought okay i will start uh, research on microbiology then i uh, started uh, microbiology uh, then with the help of my uh, very uh, brilliant students like dr aparna banerji urmi haldar raju bishwa shravana bhamod many more uh, with the help of them i established the microbiology laboratory and I i am working because the basic training are the same if you know uh, the gene isolation gene sequencing or whole genome sequence or to handle that data so you can apply those things in microbiology also this was my uh, confidence level right wonderful sir i mean uh, that's been uh, quite amazing uh, sir uh, another thing uh, if you really see uh, the kind of um, uh, post doctoral experience that you have had Uh, it was uh, it was diverse i mean you you had uh, uh, a wonderful stint in guruji's lab uh, you had been to south korea and then uh, you you were also a boycast fellow 
uh, how 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 good was your postdoctoral experience uh, taking uh, shape uh, as a as as a good professor, sir? How did it really help you? So, uh, from the beginning, say uh, when I used to work at uh, Calcutta, also I I I don't depend on my uh, professor because he used to come say at twelve o'clock or he used to go at four o'clock, but I, it, it doesn't bother to me. I used to present in the laboratory at 9, 9.30 in the morning. I, I used to work uh, 9, 9.30 or 10 uh, at night also. So that is that is the... We used to stay in the laboratory, and then I got more tougher professor at uh, South Korea. Uh, there also we worked very hard. Then when I was in USA, I saw Professor Andrew Patterson. Every time he is working, so like this, this way, uh, they also influenced or they also uh, means enhance my appetite to work more and more and more. So when I used to work little less, I thought today I did nothing like that. So uh, that kind of thing training I got from all my mentors and professors. And I am also very lucky uh, when student used to come to my lab to do some work for uh, project work, MSc project work, or BE project work, or MTech work, or PhD. I used to say, I to uh, night nine so you just uh, sit nothing you, you need not to do anything so if you can do that thing then only you can work with us and you can work with me so like this way uh, they also prove they can work uh, whether i am present in the laboratory or not or i am away but my student they are working so this kind of uh, things i can uh, means uh, teach uh, my students also and they are also following these things they they are really very uh, hard working students yes sir uh, that's uh, you know that's kind of quite amazing uh, so then uh, then the most important uh, uh, thing uh, was you know after your uh, uh, joining Birla Institute of uh, uh, Technology Mestra and your wonderful collaborations with CCMB and also with Professor Kavikishore and all those kind of things. Then you uh, were a part of this uh, wonderful book called Agricultural Bioinformatics. So can you please tell something about this book, sir? Yeah. Uh, so actually, okay. whatever Prashant uh, means uh, told in the beginning, it's not like that. Uh, it's the reverse. Uh, better, I can remember, Prashant wrote me one mail. Yes, sir, uh, one proposal is there. It is related with uh, bioinformatics and agriculture. So I am not the person of this agriculture. I don't understand plants is that. So uh, can you, can you uh, do this thing? Can you think something out of this? So then I thought, okay, we can do something. Then uh, Prashant introduced me with Professor Kavi Kishar. He is very elder person, and uh, to me he is a fatherly person, and he is very nice gentleman, and he has a thorough knowledge in genetics and plants, uh, many many things. So myself and Kavi Kishar we started. And being senior and um, very busy person, so um, he called me, uh, Rajiv, uh, if you have some uh, leaves or you, if you have some holidays, you come down to uh, Hyderabad and you plan how to uh, design these uh, books and who may be the authors and what may be the things. So I went and I, I did that job. I was there for seven, ten days and we, uh, I worked uh, very hard day and night. Then we uh, did this thing. Then uh, I asked Prashant, please, you, you, you also be here. Then Prashant told me, I can remember, no, no, uh, I did nothing. Why I will be there? Then I told, no, no, uh, you have work. Uh, when people used to send us the uh, draft, you have to check, you have to see. And uh, finally, uh, I, uh, we need your help. So like this way, uh, we, we arranged that books and a lot of uh, very good worker, uh, they contributed uh, throughout the world. And this book was really uh, one of its kind. And till now, uh, the sales are also good. 
and Springer used to mail us uh, sometime uh, how many copies they have sold this year and that that thing. So it's it's a very uh, uh, new new area where you can apply bioinformatics. And when I was at BIT <clears throat> with the help of remote sensing department and uh, Rice Research Center at Hyderabad, uh, they they were working on uh, bioinformatics data and the remote sensing data, how it can predict the uh, crop yield or production in near future. So like this way. Uh, we need to uh, work on agricultural bioinformatics. Right. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, if you really look back as a as someone who has uh, mastered or who has got an experience in plant uh, biotechnology, uh, if you really uh, look into the DNA polymorphisms in 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 plants, especially when they were all uh, largely coming from the express sequence tracks, and uh, if you really uh, see now. Uh, in the next generation sequencing era, there is also a need for development of plant exomes. So can you please uh, narrate down from your point of view, how uh, checking the DNA polymorphisms from the erstwhile uh, ESTs to the current exomes or to, to the current whole genome sequencing of plants would really be helpful for development of desirous traits in plants? Actually, in the beginning, uh, 80s or 90s, uh, normally uh, you also worked with Professor Gupta's lab. So the plant scientists, they, they used to work with different markers uh, for this kind of uh, checking the polymorphism. But uh, gradually, say, in the era of 2000s and other, uh, when I, uh, I was visiting USA, then people used to uh, shift it to uh, other point of view that is related with um, different kind of, say, uh, modern mapping techniques and uh, whole genome sequence, data analysis, uh, like that. Suppose, say, uh, for example, for our work with our uh, whole genome of uh, microbiology of microbes, say, Aparna worked on Bacillus anthracis or Urmi worked on uh, our expedition samples. So we can compare from both the sides. So how 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 is the thing? So uh, seeing the uh, marker techniques, or say uh, they are different polymorphism or detection of SNPs, and through the analysis of the genome also you can uh, see uh, this uh, polymorphism or changes. So you can uh, tally the result or you can uh, cross-check the result. So then you can validate uh, much more in a better way for your uh, checking of uh, polymorphism. Right, sir. Uh, no, perfect. Uh, sir, uh, if we if, if really uh, uh, look into the uh, kind of you know broad spectrum uh, plant genetics. I mean, for example, you have worked on uh, uh, the most crucial crop, the most toughest uh, crop, which is uh, the wheat, uh, which is a hexaploid uh, uh, a crop. Uh, and you also worked on development of physical markers along with uh, Guruji, along with uh, 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 Pawan sir here and other things. But if you really see the current generation, uh, uh, there are not many uh, researchers who really wanted to do uh, exciting science in wheat genetics. Why is that, sir? What is the best message that you wanted to give them? Uh, actually, uh, actually, after leaving uh, the laboratory of Professor Gupta, I was away of wheat, and then when I was faculty at BIT Mesra, again uh, I came into wheat and we developed uh, work on, um, say, uh, plant pathogen interactions in wheat uh, in collaboration with uh, Dr. Prabhu from IRI and Professor P.K. Gupta, Professor H.S. Balian, and uh, uh, at BIT, myself and uh, Professor Kunal Mukherjee all together. So what what I think, uh, number, number one, uh, and the crop is uh, much more complicated. And uh, number two, it is of uh, maybe of region specific. 
and other thing uh, the lot of groups are there in uh, international level they are uh, much more ahead uh, with this crop because in australia in canada uh, they have much more uh, production of wheat and they have the authority of many uh, new varieties or uh, new things and they are ahead of the scientists uh, of uh, wheat uh, rather than our country i think uh, for this reason uh, there may be some uh, less funding from government of india and uh, other funding agencies also but whatever the indian specific india uh, india specific say crop or any plants or uh, any uh, any things so that that thing are much more popularized nowadays because uh, these are sure. of our own things and government also funding in, in a better way so that's why i think uh, people are not interested to work on uh, wheat though we have some dedicated institute suppose dwr is their directorate of wheat wheat research so they are uh, focusing on wheat and lot of agricultural university they are working on wheat but say normal university like us uh, we, though we have very good farm facility at badwan university but other university they don't have this kind of facilities and they they, they don't uh, they don't uh, bother for this kind of research at all right right sir i mean um, well said sir so final few questions sir uh, uh, you know this year covid 19 has taken a huge toll uh, how did uh, uh, you overcome this covid 19 as a part of your research goals can you please put it in your words uh, actually uh, when when uh, covid comes first time and people used to say uh, say from coming monday it will be uh, lockdown everything closed and my hod was very furious why you people are coming uh, shut down the laboratory uh, i can't see you here like this that then i i thought it may be a very crazy things uh, they are not interested for research so they are they are discouraging us so we should continue so we used to come we used to work uh, just in the uh, beginning time then gradually we thought no this is not the right thing we have to take care then uh, for few days we we really shut down our laboratories say um, uh, end of march april uh, may but we continued our research or activities uh, through online uh, we used to keep uh, close contact with our students phd student mphil students or msc students we used to monitor them uh, their uh, weekly or monthly uh, progress and uh, whatever they are doing i used to ask them they please uh, do your review work or please do uh, some of your bioinformatics work uh, from your home so like this way we continued and gradually uh, then uh, university allowed one or two students at a time they can do the subculture they are not doing um, a full time say uh, wet lab experiment but they are working uh, from home uh, some kind of changes in research and as we are habituated with both the bioinformatics work and the wet lab work so it, 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 honestly it didn't uh, hamper uh, so much for our research better uh, we learned many thing during this lockdown times right wonderful sir so it suddenly a kind of a blessing in disguise uh, thank you so much sir you are um, uh, you, your time and energy is sincerely appreciated you have been uh, uh, a doyen of uh, wonderful mentoring uh, uh, tutelage to young students uh, including me i learned a lot of things from you uh, such civilizations would really help the young generation to learn from these experiences uh, it's always nice that uh, uh, whatever that you have passed on to the next generation people like you uh, 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 pavan sir and all those uh, 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 seniors you know with whom i personally have worked i have really transcended that particular knowledge and i am also doing it to the next generation this is a kind of a wonderful uh, 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 wonderful uh, uh, flow that we are uh, uh, we are experiencing at this point of time you have been absolutely a wonderful uh, down to earth scientist sir i have ever known uh, uh, just like you know pavan sir i mean you if you really see uh, you both are really uh, were really floating on the same side youngest professors all, all over time and all those kind of things 
probably the young generation, um, especially your students, are really fortunate to have worked with you. Although I learned, uh, uh, although I was there with you for a very small uh, stint, I had a I had a wonderful opportunity to exchange emails with you virtually over over years. It's been it's been it's been tremendously uh, helpful. Whenever you know our morale is down, you know I used to uh, call Rajiv sir, and you would always you know mentor us. Even when I returned back to India in 2016, I was in Kolkata, and uh, sir was kind enough you know to pick us. He, uh, he took us you know all the way to different places in Kolkata. Uh, he has been absolutely very down to earth, and uh, sir would now be very happy that uh, sir. Uh, is certainly so-called second generation. If you really look, the first generation of so-called gurujis like P.K. Gupta and all, his student is also uh, a guest in our in civilization in November. Sir will be very much pleased, and we are equally proud of Aparna Banerjee, uh, uh, who is our guest in November. So please don't miss, and I'm sure you know Sir will be equally proud of that. So be before leaving, Prashant, I can see here uh, Sundarda. Is yes, a friend of mine, yes, sir. and I can I can see Dr. Pawan. Pawan yesterday called me, uh, Rajiv. I am eagerly waiting to listen to you. Then I told, "What yeah. to listen? Uh, you know, <laughs> we know each other." So Pawan is here, and and one friend I I can see uh, that is Milin Milin the Ragna Parke. Hi, Milin. I believe. Yeah, Milin, please. Uh, uh, would you mind, you know, uh, yeah. sharing few so words? So, <laughs> Yeah, give him a reply. So, Baba. Yeah. So, Milin, Milin, uh, write yeah. something Hello. in chat box. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Milin. How? Uh, so, just very nice to hear yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, I am telling Prashant. Prashant Milind was my good friend in USA. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, sir! It's only through you I I, I knew about Milind. I mean, we yeah. also exchanged a lot of uh, messages as well uh, when yeah. I was in we, Denmark. We are in the same laboratory with Andrew Patterson, and when I uh, left uh, USA, uh, Milind helped me a lot. He used to see me off at the airport. So Milind is here. <laughs> Jairaman sir is here. And overall Aparna is here. And some of my some of my uh, special students, they are also attending this uh, cyber session. Oh yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I'm I'm sure yeah. you know many of them are really uh, inspired uh, by this. And there are people watching in YouTube as well. I'll also share the recording uh, across all the BioPlus members, which will reach uh, yeah. uh, four thousand members um, uh, all over. Uh, one thing, uh, 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 I mean, uh, Sundarda or uh, Pavan sir or Melind, uh, do you want to ask any any one important question, uh, which probably you wanted to ask and which you never asked, uh, Rajiv sir? Uh, well, can I ask one? Yeah, please, sir. Please, sir. Uh, Rajiv, so yeah, you sure. have, uh, from one place to another, so you have excellent journey. So, what yeah, was the first thing you experienced during this uh, voyage? Uh, can you repeat one? So, Dada, you traveled from uh, Kolkata to USA, Korea, Meerut, Barwan, and then also at B uh, Birla Institute. So what was the yeah. toughest time during this voyage and how you got over that tough time? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, it's really a very uh, big journey for me. I, uh, I, I used to belong to a very small village, okay? Uh, in Hooghly district in West Bengal. So then I uh, reached to Calcutta, then from Calcutta to Meerut, where I met you first time, then Meerut to South Korea, South Korea to BIT Mesta, then BIT Mesta to USA, and meantime many other countries are visited. So uh, it's really uh, difficult to uh, leave uh, home because um, the problem uh, with my student, uh, mostly with our PG student at Badawan, uh, I, I can see uh, they they can qualify say NET exams or other any in national in national level uh, uh, examinations, 
but they never to move from his own place they think this is my own place i know everybody i know everything so i will be here only if if i get a small job uh, in lower category job then it is also okay but i never go outside i never go to um, other places so from the very beginning of my class i used to uh, ask my student don't don't be like that first you go uh, anywhere where you can learn you can learn something you go there first you learn then you try to come back to your native place or your uh, nearest place uh, and then only you can uh, learn many things so i cannot say openly but uh, it is uh, like that uh, many professors or many faculties uh, they did their bsc msc phd uh, postdoc everything from the same place and they they are uh, t- uh, doing uh, work and uh, teaching there for a long time but they don't have exposures uh, what is the real science what other people are doing in abroad what is the things or broadness of mind it is it is uh, means uh, missing over there so after visiting many countries meeting with many people and other things people can realize the uh, real meaning of the life or real meaning of science and how to do the science how to help others like this way so i am fortunate enough uh, say lot of my students uh, from b level or other other students they are in abroad even recently uh, dr aparna uh, she is in chile so uh, she went there for uh, her post doc but she became faculty over there so i think this kind of experience will help uh, in future life also so thank you pawan Yeah, true, true, sir. Very well said, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It's uh, it's always uh, uh, wonderful hearing uh, uh, to you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Did 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 you uh, wanted to say anything before we say goodbye? It's all okay, and a uh, lot of my friends they are he- here, so I am really happy today uh, seeing my old friends like Pawan, uh, Milin, and uh, Sundar Da, and uh, Jairam sir, and. obviously you and a uh, lot of young students may be there uh, and young faculties are there aparna is also there anubhav is also there they are college fa- uh, college and university faculty so i will say uh, all all to the people so whatever it is it may be lockdown time or it, it may be difficulties don't say difficulties see this thing as a positive way and you just uh, means uh, stick on your work and you 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 say pro- proceed uh, towards your goal and i think uh, you will achieve this thing and if you work uh, with a little bit and after a long time you can see the uh, means uh, volume of your work yeah true sir thank you so much sir uh, you know for your wonderful time and energy so friends that's it for today uh, for incivilization uh, we we had uh, rajiv bandopajay sir my mentor and professor at burdwan burdwan university uh, sir has been uh, a, a truly an inspiring uh, person he is always a good motivator so always uh, always you know uh, is a very good and fast responder so please feel free to uh, email rajiv sir for any questions that you may have is also an advisor of bioclues and to all those uh, people uh, who are with bioclues so bioclues celebrates uh, uh, 16th year break uh, in fact tomorrow october 2nd so it's been uh, 16 long years that we have started bioclues and it's also bioclues birthday uh, 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 birthday tomorrow and uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, since tomorrow is a holiday we thought of having in celebration today So thank you so much, uh, everyone. Thank you so much, Rajiv sir. Thank you, Prashant. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, Manindol, and thank you very much, Ayam, uh, for your gracious time in um, uh, recording this. You have always been helpful. Thank you so much, Ayam. Thank you so much. Hello, good to connect to Rajiv. Yeah, often yeah. meet. Yeah. Both <laughs> me and this uh, university when I went to Durgapur. Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't go. It's good to see him and connect. It's a very good lecture. Yeah. Thank you, thank you sir. Day. good presentation so sometime yeah sometime in future please uh, again visit us at padwan 
Sure, sure. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.